Good morning! After yesterday where the market just shat its pants, we thought it would be time to go back to basics today and give you just a sense of how this all began, the DeFi journey. And it starts, of course, with Uniswap. And today we're looking at just how you can supply liquidity, this most basic piece of the DeFi puzzle. You can do it, anyone can do it, and we're going to do it in less than five minutes. Interested? coming up after this. Platforms that ensure the safety of their clients' funds will help build trust in the crypto space. That's why Nexo is setting an example by putting security first and making sure that over 4 million customers have instant access to their funds all the time. On Nexo, you can buy crypto and automatically start earning daily interest. Use the exchange to restructure your portfolio in seconds while getting rewards on every swap. You can also get instant liquidity without selling. Simply borrow against your crypto at rates as low as 0%. Visit nexo.io and find out for yourself if that's the right place for your crypto. BitRefill allows you to shop online and physically without banks, converting your crypto into merchant balance directly without any sign-up. It offers more than 5,000 gift card options in 180 countries, and in the USA, you can now pay bills like your mortgage or credit card. Creating a BitRefill account is not required, but it only takes one minute, and you can get 1% back in rewards. When you shop for plane tickets, you probably use Kayak, Expedia, or Google Flights. So why would you limit yourself to just one exchange when you trade crypto? To make sure you're getting the best possible price, you should use a DEX aggregator like Matcha. Matcha routes your orders across all the various DeFi exchanges on Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, BSC, Phantom, Celo, and Optimism to provide the best possible prices without taking any commissions. Matcha has integrated fiat on-ramps so you can buy directly with your credit or debit card and uses smart order routing that splits your order across multiple liquidity sources. With Matcha, you can make limit orders on-chain so you can set and forget your DeFi trades. And now Matcha even offers gasless trading. Head over to matcha.xyz forward slash defiant and connect your wallet to start smarter with Matcha. So Uniswap is the OG. It wasn't actually the first decentralized exchange that was Bancor, but it is where this all began. DeFi and the magic of decentralized finance. So we're just going to dig in straight away into how you can add liquidity to a Uniswap pool. So first thing you do is going to launch the app. And instead of doing a swap, you're going to look up here to pool. So what we're effectively doing here is we have money, it's not doing anything. And instead of it just sitting there in our wallets, what we can do is supply it to a massive pool of liquidity, which will allow people to trade peer to peer via Uniswap using the Uniswap protocol. And it will match buyers and sellers and allow trades to take place using the liquidity that you supply. Now, if that liquidity is in the correct range, you will earn a fee. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and click on new position. And the pair I'm going to look at today is ETH and USDC. Now, one of the key things to bear in mind when supplying liquidity to Uniswap is that you need to have equal amounts of both the one side of the pair, which is ETH in this case, and the other side of the pair, which is USDC. So you need to have both ETH and USDC. Now, if you only have ETH, you will have to exchange some of that ETH for the other side of the pair, so for some USDC. I did that earlier today. It was very, very fun. No, it wasn't. It's just swapping tokens on Uniswap. So I've got $270 worth of USDC here, and I'm going to click on the max uh, to pop that in, and then it will autofill how much ETH I need to do. Now, I generally do it this way because the value of the USDC doesn't change very much, but ETH does, and it's always fluctuating around. So sometimes you can find yourself in a position where you don't have enough to fit in the other side of the pair. So I always start with the amount you have the smallest amount of and then go from there. Now, we can also look at this fee tier here. So we're currently in the 0.3% fee tier, but if you click on edit, it will give you some other options. So 0.01% is best for very stable pairs. Imagine USDC and DAI pairs or USDT and USDC. The spread on that is very, 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 very small. The liquidity is concentrated in a very, very narrow band, but there's lots of trades that happen and they all happen in the same place. So the chances of your liquidity being used is very good. For 0.05%, Best for stable pairs, that's generally where people set them for stables. And then 0.3% will generally an altcoin versus a stable coin, well, that's where you're going to sit. And then 1% for exotic pairs. So if you've got a brand new coin and nobody really knows how it's going to trade, 1% is generally where you're going to want to set it. So now we've got this set up like this, we can have a look at this set of boundary bars here. 
So what this is doing is it's allowing us to define the range in which our liquidity will be effective. Now this is basically you looking at the market and determining what you think the price of ETH is going to do against USCC in the coming days, weeks, depending on how long you want to leave the liquidity in for. This was the great innovation in Uniswap v3. It allowed you to define these ranges, concentrated liquidity, because before you would have liquidity spread across the entire possible tradable range of the pair, and that meant that most of the time your liquidity wasn't being used. So this gives us instant feedback in terms of where the liquidity is stacked up, where the smart money thinks the market is going to go, and it gives us a pretty clear picture of where the bets are sitting currently. So what we can do now have a look at the ETH price. This is um, the max, but I've actually set it from 2020 all the way up to now, because what I want to do is get a picture of kind of roughly where we've come from and where we are likely to go. So yesterday we had this massive drop in the market. Obviously things are looking bearish, but if you're a market maker and you're supplying liquidity, you don't really care too much uh, because you're supplying liquidity and earning fees. Now obviously impermanent loss becomes a thing here, but hopefully if your strategy is set up correctly, then the amount you earn from fees, well, that basically balances it out. So what do we think is going to happen here? Well, this is not a trading class. All we're doing here is just looking at ranges. So as we can see at the moment, the market is trending down. We've got a wave down here, another wave down here. Chances are we'll probably have another wave down, most likely, because things are too bearish for the sentiment to really recover. But there's a good chance it'll come back and revisit this level here, which is around 1,229, 2,030. I mean, obviously, I should be using a better chart here, but we can be fairly broad stroked when it comes to this. Um, trying to like zero in on very, very specific narrow bands of liquidity for tokens as volatile as ETH, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's not a great strategy. So the chances are we're going to bed down and bang on that again. So anything that's like setting that boundary 1,230 as the lower level <clears throat> is probably okay. <coughs> so what I would do here is I would sweep this up here and you can see here that like there's a big wall of liquidity around 1,000 or so. So we can set that up around there, maybe a little higher. So what's this level here looking like? Uh, that is exactly that level. So 1,256 or so. <coughs> and then on the upper level of the band, well, let's take a first look at this uh, tweet from David Hoffman. Post-merge ETH at $1,300 is the best risk-reward entry that crypto has ever seen. David, why do you do this? Why do you send out tweets like that that have people rushing in and FOMOing in? It's irresponsible, my friend. It's irresponsible. Don't do it. Uh, hence my reply with the legend that is Justin Timberlake here, who sort of weirdly looks like David Hoffman, if David Hoffman was a singer in a suit, which he's not. So that's what we're going to do there in terms of that lower bound level. And then in terms of the upper bound level, well, it depends how, you, how long you want to leave this uh, on for. Uh, we have lost our liquidity data. Let's refresh that and start again. So upper tier, I'm thinking, hmm, what is a good range? Like, do we think that ETH's going to get past $2,000 anytime soon? Nah, probably not. I mean, this range here is... I mean, look, you can see where all the liquidity is. That's where the big bet is, that range. So that's a fairly safe range to bet within. So we set it there, set our USDC to max. And in order to make this trade make sense, we need to have 0.86 ETH in balance. I don't have enough at the moment, so I need to drop this down. Let's call that 150 in ETH. And that would give me, on the other side of it, 0.47 in ETH. The next thing you need to do is approve your USDC. That is done the usual way, like this. So you would confirm that transaction. And once you have done that, you then go ahead and commit that pool uh, your liquidity as a position. And what that will look like, I can go back and look at my closed positions here. So this is a closed position I had previously. This is a DAI ETH pair. And when I click on it, it gives me this NFT. So every liquidity position on Uniswap v3 is represented as an NFT. And this will give you all the data on that NFT to tell you um, what your liquidity position 
is doing. And that's how it will finish off. And that basically is as simple as that. That is how you add liquidity on Uniswap V3. Very simple, just an easy way to gauge upper and lower bands of your liquidity range, put the liquidity in that you feel comfortable with, and then once it's in that range, you will start owning fees. And that is how it's done. See you on the next one. Sorry, David, but you know what's what, right? Peace.